Welcome SAO Survivors! SAO Mobile Games Heavy Week this time, primarily the new variant showdown new stream scheduled and the Japanese arcade game SAO Deep Explorer no longer receiving updates, but aside from that, United Ring 3 English release is approaching very close, Kiss and Fly manga continues with Sisters Prayer Story and more, welcome to this week in SAO for all your weekly SAO news. This week's video is brought to you by somewhat of a PSA, this is your one week reminder for the release of Sword Online Volume 24 United to Living 3 on April 20th Book Depository sent me a confirmation that Yampress had shipped the books to their warehouse and I received my personal shipping confirmation on April 23rd. Granted, since I live in the middle of mountains, I'm still skeptical whether I'll receive it on launch day of May 6 or not, but if you're an enjoyer of physical books like I am, you should likely pre-order your book as soon as possible for a launch day reading experience before it starts becoming out of stock for a short bit. Amazon and Book Depository links will be in the description if you want to grab it and as always for pre-orders of recent light novels I strongly recommend Book Depository over Amazon, the latter of which I, I simply never had good experiences with for recent releases. There is a Reki Kavara channel livestream today, however I am writing and recording this script a bit earlier than usual due to lectures at the university in the afternoon, in fact the stream is has just started about 10 minutes ago. But either way, unless I'm also wrapping up editing early on, I will try to add information here visually if anything noteworthy comes up, like information on Progressive 9 or United Ring 6, more likely the former, but either way, just to be on the safe side, I do recommend you follow me on Twitter at GamerTurk95. Worst case scenario, it's just easy enough to tweet even when I'm busy. We had two birthdays last week, one for Lifa aka Kirigaya Suguha on the 19th of April and one for Len aka Kohiru Imaki Karen on the 20th of April. There were birthday stamps in Integral Factor for both of them, but overall <laughs> Lifa of course had the larger focus with a birthday dungeon, login bonus gems and a birthday banner in Integral Factor. Lucky for Len however, Tamori Tadadi, the author of the AGGO manga adaptation has shared a land doodle to celebrate the birthday. Back to manga news, we are looking forward to a lot of things this week. Sword Online Kiss and Fly manga adapting the contents from volume 22 of the light novels with the same title, featuring four short side stories, is continuing its adaptation with Sisters' Prayer Story, the prequel to the beloved mother's Rosario side story covering Yuki's past with her sister and a friend. But if you're more interested in Aincrad stuff, you're also getting a double tree this week. Progressive Canon of the Golden Rule, Floor 6 manga adaptation, will release a new chapter this week on their official Twitter account, the link to it will be in the description of course, and the RE Aincrad reboot manga is also getting a new chapter release too. Speaking of RE Aincrad, the first Tankubon release is coming out the same day as the Sisters Prayer and the new RE Aincrad chapter this Wednesday and two more store bonuses have been revealed. Tora Noana will be offering an illustration card with the purchase of volume 1 featuring the cover art whereas Tsutaya will be offering one of the two available bromides, one featuring the cover art and the other an original illustration inspired by late Aincrad content. Moving on to the game news. No, nothing about liquor is still no update on that second paid DLC that's currently scheduled for this very spring, kinda running short on time on that, but the SAO arcade game in Japan, Deep Explorer, has pushed on a final update bringing Mate Shilika into the game and announced it will no longer be updating from here onwards, while the game itself will still be available to play for the foreseeable future. If our assumptions about the developers are correct, this may be just a case of the live team at ArtThink maintaining Deep Explorer, moving over to maintaining SEO Variant Showdown, once it's live of course, and that game is likely not that far away from release. The second Sword Online Variant Showdown new stream has been scheduled for May 7. Not sure how much new stuff they got to show to be honest, the first stream gave me more of a memory defrag but 3D impression, relatively simple gameplay that they have already showcased quite a bit for the simplicity of it. Maybe they'll do some live demoing of the game rather than pre-edited footage, but aside from that, I kinda do fear the stream may just end up becoming a 
We're just gonna show a bunch of character visuals and finishers and I know a lot of people are gonna love it despite it just being eye candy as most showcaseable things are when it comes to mobile games. But yeah, as I said in previous weekly news, I'll keep covering variant showdown stuff but if I am to be interested in the game, there's gonna have to be something good in there. I'm just... At this point, I'm just exhausted from the power creep SAO gacha game, so I'm approaching them with a bit more skepticism than usual. Just keep that in mind if you're gonna follow along my variant showdown coverage here. I'll approach much more cautiously than many others on the platform will. I mean, I'm, I'm still waiting for Unleash Blading to either change their format completely to salvage themselves or just yield and announce shutdown. Did, did, did you know Unleash Blading's average revenue is down to the level that of Memory Defrax was shortly before their shutdown announcement? Speaking of Unleash Blading, from, from a less bleak perspective, I guess, I'm, I'm still pretty certain it will try a bit longer to see how their Moon Cradle sequel fares before making a final decision, but with Variant Showdown coming into the mix as well, I don't think their studio meetings are not tense, let's put it that way. But taking it step by step is always a good choice here. There's gonna be a new SAO Unleashed Blading stream on April 27, where they will be talking about the new Battle Pass season and some new units for the upcoming period. With April concluding and April Fool stuff behind us, I'm hoping we get the conclusion to the Moon Cradle story, preferably with an animated scene at that. Not only is the final scene a very good opportunity to capitalize on some Kirt and Asna screen time, it would also be, you know, quite disappointing if what they they proudly advertised all that time ago with Moon Cradle anime scenes ended up just being two 90 second clips, one per light novel volume. There's also a limited unit selectable pickup scout at the moment in the game, so if you have cubes saved, this is a great chance to grab limited units that you may have missed in the past. If I was willing to shield cubes, I would definitely be chasing additional Imaginariums for my United Ring Alice. I, I used it again in the recent stage ranking and can confirm it's still pretty much a beast. Aside from that, if you haven't been playing for over 30 days, there's currently a returning player campaign going on, so this may be a good chance for you to have a look at how the game is doing. Granted, nothing much is happening, nothing much has changed, but it's always nice to have a 7 day login bonus featuring a selectable character scout ticket each day. There's also a 2.5 year anniversary login bonus that's going on at the moment so that's just cherry on the top. Saved integral factor for the last this time around, there was an integral factor new stream the past week, I was hoping there'd be an event sized new floor story. But there wasn't anything remarkable at all, <laughs> less exciting than regular weekly news really. There's a screenshot contest with the theme of the Onomatopoeia Sarasara, it, apparently it means silky smooth, free flowing amongst some other meanings. The winner is getting 2500 arcana gems, it's been years, but I still don't know whether these screenshot contests include worldwide players or not, so take it as you will, it's, it's likely Japan only, who am I kidding? As for the events, there are quite a lot actually. Golden Colossus Hunt event, Ragu Rabbit Hunt, heaping 20 million XP event, particularly good for leveling up, big recommend from me, and build up skills with Shinon. These are your courses this time around, you can always check the in-game notifications for the exact details. And the available order is Chronicler of Legends, featuring Yuki, Shinon, Kirito and Koharu. But that's pretty much it for this week, like if you enjoyed, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything in the future. Hope to see you all again next week, until then, stay cool.